Sunday night here in Green Country, and it's a big one as the Tulsa Desperados hoping to keep their hold on the Central Division. They are hosting the Seattle Nemesis. Seattle, he's been here since the inception of the Nemesis. Lanton on the blitz. He'll go for the deep ball down the middle. Wide open receiver! And Zachary Patton holding it like a fresh loaf of bread for the touchdown! Well, well, well. What? Where did that come from? A big deep shot over the back. Tolstoy didn't respond. Patton, uh, former Jacksonville King, comes up and just got pretty much open clean. No one saw him coming through the middle of the park with a simple post route. And Seattle hit them deep on a third down completion. Incredible play by Trellis Blanton to spot the route deep. We'll have Baloo in the backfield. Quick step, throw, intercepted! And it's picked off immediately. <laughs> they look to be set up for that. They've got two tight ends to the right, one receiver to the left. Oh, excuse me, it's a three tight end set. And they will hand it off to Brown. Up the middle, gets planted, but not until he gets the first down. Yeah, they only need they only need to get to the 15. But they might go for the shot here. Pressure up the middle, and it'll be completed on a middle line pass. Just almost effectively goal to go here. Q gonna throw, checks it down to Brown right side, doesn't have a block, spins move, and keeps moving to the end zone! Touchdown, Tulsa! Beautiful play by Douglas Brown. Uh, this is effectively Tulsa's bread and butter. You see this weak power eye formation quite a lot from them. This time they throw a screen to Brown in the backfield. The blockers got sent the other way and he puts a nasty spin move on that corner out there. And Nice little warm Sunday night here in, here in Green Country. Lighten on the quick pass here for first down. We'll be caught coming in and taking part in our league. We always love having you here. Lighten on the deep drop. Going to throw it on second down. It's completed and tackled out of bounds is Pauly Truth. Sets up first and 10 just inside the 15. Blanton the throw on the quick step under pressure and cannot get away from Jaden Swift. He's been 80% so far this season. 12 for 15, that'll make it 13 of 16. Heavy eye formation, receiver out to the left side. They will hand it off, Douglas Brown going to the right, gets through one, gets through another for a first down, crossing midfield to the 40, gets down to the 30, shakes one to the 20, gets down to the 15 to the 12-yard line. Third and three, but it's basically third and goal to go right now. Offset eye formation, two receivers. Cue to throw, looking, throws, right side, into the end zone, touchdown, Tulsa. DJ Hume brings it in to give the Desperados the lead. Tools to just produce some simple plays to finish off a scoring drive. We're gonna have an open receiver up the middle will be completed to the 44 for a first down. Be second down and five now. Heavy eye formation. Receiver to the left. Looks like they're bringing some pressure to Q. He gets pressured on the left side and now managed to get the catch out to Bandit. Making a 31 yard attempt now for Brooke Beisel from the left hash. Bit of a low snap, but it will get underway and up and through. The reset. 40 seconds to go. Q to throw again up the middle. Tempted intercepted. It'll be picked off. He's and off. there's room He's to run for Doug Day. He might be able to go all the way home. Touchdown, Seattle! Because you had Seattle really dominating in the first quarter, then Tulsa really took over in the second. So it's still kind of a tip balance. Oh, oh, but there's an interception. We were talking about if he was rattled or not. David Harrell says, oh, yes, you are. Sets up third and four. It'll go to two wide left, one to the right. Offset eye. Letting the throw, gets the right side, caught for the first down. All, all contract receivers on the field. And three to the right, one to the left. Letting the throw, pressure up the middle, he'll get it away. Oh, what a what catch a throw. over the defender to Patton. Yeah, they're going four wide with the tight end. Quick pass up the oh, middle, caught throw. for the touchdown! Holy Truth brings it in from four yards out, and the Nemesis are back in front. Yeah, they had the pick six, and then the other interception didn't really go their way. Hugh to throw right side. Oh, oh, it's another interception, and this is big, big trouble as it's another pick six for Seattle. They really need to capitalize on one of these op opportunities inside Tulsa's half. Just in 10 for Blanton, a quick pass. Oh, it's intercepted! The other side of the network tonight. Oh, 
man, that's a sight you'd never thought you'd see before. Skew on the deep drop has a man open down to the 30 yard line. It's caught by DJ Hume. Amar Bryant Jr., the last couple of plays. Unfortunately, the taller cornerback has been able to, but somehow I thought Amar Bryant Jr. was going to pick that off. And somehow, in, in the middle of two defenders, Pew in the shotgun with a nickel set against him. Bit of a low snap on the quick pass as we completed. Uh oh, that's trouble. DJ Bandit going backwards. His body turned around to go forward. So. Faisal to get the kick away, and it is good from 43 yards. Nice one there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If they can pull this off, it'd be their second away win, their fourth win in franchise history. Pressure up the middle is brought down for a sack. So Tulsa going to go for it here. Fourth down and 13. They got to get to the 41. Q takes the snap. Has a man up the middle. It's nowhere close for Hume. It's incomplete. And a turnover on down. Seattle in prime territory to get back to a clean 14. The big With the big dogs here in the SFL. Lanton going to go for the throw. He has a man open to the right side. He'll be caught for the first down. Down to the 15 to the 11. Even with the loss, Tulsa will still be a top. As uh, Blue Scott will run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. By number 13, that's Corey Jones. That's his first catch of the day. They'll take the handoff. Cue the throw. Has the man open. Another first down. Now down to the Seattle 42 for DJ Hume. They keep it to within a couple of scores. Faking the handoff again. Pressure coming left side. Has the man up the middle. Good for the first down. We've seen it on this play today. Absolutely. Q going to throw the ball up the middle again. Nice catch. Q from the shotgun going to throw. Looks to the end zone. Has it for the touchdown. Catch there from number 88. Back to the final play of the second half almost where Seattle were behind with Tulsa driving down the field and Doug Day picked it off to tie the game up. That was potentially what swung the entire game around because... JQ just looked completely bereft of confidence for the second half. Seattle had the did. control for the entire second half. Like just that that play in itself turned the entire game around. Yeah, absolutely. Those two pick sixes just really just kind of set the set the um, set the momentum in favor of Seattle and against Tulsa. As uh, Blanton will take the knee. And bring us to the zeros on the clock. Seattle with their fourth win in franchise history. The most points scored in franchise history.